Hello and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things. Now today we're going to tackle speed painting clan rats. There are probably some methods out there that are even faster than this, but this fella here took less than 15 minutes. That's just painting time of course, not counting how long it takes for Agrax Earthshade to dry. <laughs> but I reckon he came out looking pretty cool. And if you want the bulk of your troops looking like this, here's how. Now we're not going to muck around too many things with, you know, dry brushing or what have you. Just a real quick easy method. So I've got all the paints going to be listed in the description below. Feel free to follow along. Now to start them off, I've given them a quick primer spray of Leather Brown from Army Painter. Now fortunately, Citadel doesn't do Mournfang Brown anymore, but if you want that color instead, what you could do is start from a gray spray and then just put a couple of layers of Mournfang Brown over the top. It's a slightly more saturated brown. For what I've got in mind though, I think this is going to work a little better. And Funnily enough, that's why I'm not using Fur Brown. Fur Brown has got a lot more red to it, and you might have seen me use that with the Mechanicus that I paint. But uh, Leather Brown is what we're going to use for this. Now, when you're speed painting, the most important thing I find is to have a plan, and then stick to it. <laughs> Which sounds simple, but can sometimes be a little bit more difficult when you're actually putting it into practice. So what I've done is laid out all of my base colors behind me so I know bap, 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 what I'm going to work through. Now all of these are going to be listed in the description below so you can follow along. But to start off with, I'm going to give them a pretty heavy dry brush of Sylvaneth Bark. Let's get cracking. I'm just working this into one of my cheap dry brushes. And you know how normally I turn around and say, oh, carefully dry brush the edge of your base so you know how much you'll leave. Nah, we're just going <laughs> to get straight into it. Really, this is not going to change the color very much. What we're going to get is just a little differentiation between high points and low points. You know, we're going to sort of fake out some highlighting, particularly on the fur. Don't worry too much if you end up hitting anything you're going to paint later, like skin, shield, and the like. Just use this to get a little bit of a little bit of highlighting done. You'll see it's not a huge difference, but once we shade it, that will stand out. Okay, so that's step one. <laughs> now from there we've got our lead belcher and you can paint this straight over the top of the brown uh, anywhere that you sort of miss or it doesn't quite cover perfectly you're going to get a cool kind of rusty effect by the time we're done so all of his mail um, some of these armor plates like some skaven aren't wearing armor they've got quite a lot of uh, skin and cloth instead but these plates across this guy's back anywhere that you want to be metal obviously paint that in now you can be quite rough with it, and you may find you want to use slightly less water than usual in your paint so that it doesn't quite flow off as easily, which sounds counterintuitive, I know, but we want that slightly patchy brown appearance underneath to some of these metal areas. Now to paint his skin, I'm actually switching to a Vallejo paint for this because it's going to give me slightly better coverage in the tone that I want. If you don't have access to it, or you just prefer sticking to your Citadel colors, you could use Bugman's Glow here instead, but that will be a little bit darker than what we're going. Uh, this is beige red. Beige red? Beige red, yes. <laughs> and if you remember Talon Flesh, one of the old uh, foundation paints, you'll know what's going on here. Now, beige red, I'm going to just do all of his skin. So around his face, up on his nose, and what have you. And... There is a, a little bit of a choice to be made. If you want to do all of the arms in the skin tone and then just sort of leave the, uh, the fur brown, uh, or do you just paint the hands in that skin tone and then leave the whole arm brown and not worry about painting, you know, having to paint extra skin. Uh, people recently I see doing a lot more skin on the Skaven, so that's kind of, it's up to you to decide really. But any areas that you do want to be skin, Hit them now, and don't worry if you're not being very careful. Like Things like these foot wraps, for example, we are going to go back over those in a couple of minutes. Now you'll probably find with beige red that you do need to go back and give some areas a second coat, but to be honest, with batch painting, if you're doing five or ten rats at a time, by the time you finish the first coat on the fifth bloke, you can go back to the first and give him his second. It's like the only stage you're going to have to do two coats on this. Now, speaking of, I've got my fist on red here, and we're going to do all of the cloth. And whatever army you're doing, or whichever sort of clan you want your guys to look like, you can swap out this step for whatever color you want to use. 
Now I'm going to quickly cover in most of these areas. And if you wanted to, you could even do the, uh, the sort of leather effect on some of these shields. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it brown because, hey, why add more work? <laughs> so this will not take terribly long. Now, some of your rats are going to have way more uh, red on them than the others. Like they'll have less visible armor. You, of course, can be the judge of that. Once I've got now is my Balthazar gold, which is a nice brassy color. I'm going to pick out any any brassy bits of metal. Uh, shield bosses are a prime candidate for this. And following the same sort of principle with the silver, if you have a little bit of brown showing through, it doesn't matter. So pick out those. Uh, any little charms, for example, this is a good spot for this. Then any teeth, claws, or cloth, I'm going to pick out with a little Rekarth flesh. As always, making sure you're just adding a little bit of water to make sure it flows. So these leg wraps, for example, they're a good candidate for that. Now, anywhere that you come close to somewhere you've already painted, and you know you want to save some time, you're worried about going over and hitting those other areas, just leave a little bit of brown instead of trying to get it really close. What you'll find is that when we shade these guys, you know, you're going to get sort of a secondary shading effect, and no one's going to notice. <laughs> you are going to have so many rats on the table. And if someone picks up one of your rats and goes, Oh my, well, you've, you've missed this little brown part right next to this armor on his foot. Well, you know you don't have to worry too much about that, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so let's get this little bit of cloth here too. Then finally, just a little bit of Steel Legion drab. And you can use this for two things. You'll notice that some of these guys have got little pouches and stuff, and just a wee bit of Steel Legion drab will add a little bit of visual interest between that and the, the back of these wood bits, for example. And you can also, oops, smear it all over your finger. I don't know what that's going to do. Maybe it brings us luck. <laughs> but you can also use this to paint in any wood. Um, I would recommend if you're in a rush and you don't really need these guys to look perfect, don't worry about painting spears, but uh, you can do. So we'll do it just for the sake of argument. What will that look like when we're done? Now, with all of your base colors applied, that's when you want to go back at the last stage and do any little bits of tidy up. You'll find it's much quicker. Oh, I've missed a bit. <laughs> Speaking of, you'll find it's much quicker to sort of wait till this stage, go back and finish any little bits like that, rather than stopping and starting at every single step. So give me two seconds. There we go. You saw nothing. <laughs> what I've got now is my old friend, Agrax Earthshade. And I've given this a good shake. We're going to go ahead and load up a nice big brush with this. And for once, I'm going to tell you, if this pulls anywhere, it doesn't matter too much. You want to be way more generous with this than you normally would. So let's get in there, making sure to work it into all of the recesses with a quick work of the old brush there. And then we'll leave him for about half an hour, 40 minutes, and see what we've got once all this is dried. Then with plenty of time to dry, this is what we've got. And, I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that looks like a rat to me. Now, there's plenty you could do from here. But what I'm going to do is actually very quickly put a base on him so that we can get a look at what he would look like if you were just to base him up and put him on the table like this. So very quickly, let's go ahead and do that. Bing, bang, bosh, there is our rat. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I'd put him on the table. Um, to be perfectly honest... When he's got 19 buddies around him, and then the rest of the army, I reckon that looks really cool. Uh, but we can do better. You know, I know there's always something extra that we can do to make these guys just a little bit tidier. So we're going to do just three highlights. I've got here a little Ushabti bone, and we're going to brighten up his teeth. Don't need very much of this at all. A little Kislev flesh, just along some of the high points of his skin. So the long back of fingers on his... Little ratty ears. And just a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet. And we'll highlight just a few bits of that red. Now, this is easier when you haven't put the, uh, the tufts on already. So <laughs> bear that in mind, guys. That should be your last step. Now, if you want to test how steady your hand is, you can also paint in the eyes with that little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet at that stage, too. Now, I did say three colors. 
I told her we fit. Let's get a little bit of Liberator Gold. We'll just do a tiny wee bit on some of these brass areas. Just add a little bit more to them. And there we have it, guys. From start to finish, without counting drying time, a Skaven Clarinet in less than 15 minutes. Now, it takes a little bit of practice. Obviously, I've been doing this for a while, but the techniques are themselves really simple. All it requires is that plan. Like I mentioned, you want to go in knowing what you keep wanting to do next. Now, you could do much more with this. You could highlight the wood, you could highlight the metal. But for our clan rats, our bulk troops, I think he looks pretty good. So hopefully, guys, something there was interesting to you. Like always, feel free to drop a comment in the old box below. My Twitter and Facebook are both linked there too. So thank you very much for your time. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.